Hello and thank you for tuning in to Embrace My Melanin. It's Sugar Rochelle and in today's video, as you saw by the title, I am going to be sharing with you guys my favorite fall lip colors. Some of the things that I've just been loving for probably now the past couple of years, okay? I love this time of year. I, crazy enough, this past, mm, this past spring, summer, I've pretty much muted down my lip colors a lot. I've gotten really a lot into nude um, shades, but always in the fall, I always kick it up with the bright, beautiful <laughs> berry shades, purples, some reds. I love those, and I still have a few nude, pinky tones, but berries and reds, ugh, I love them. So if you want to see what my favorite fall lippy colors are for more melanated skin tones, <laughs> please keep on watching. And if you have not already subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and just hit the subscribe button. And if you like me and my brand of crazy, just a little bit, just a little bit, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, okay? Thank you. Okay, let me start with what has to be one of my favorite brands for liquid lipsticks, okay? And that will be Kat Von D, okay? Now, Kat Von D, um, she's affordable. It's kind of pricey, but it's not drugstore, but she's affordable still. Her liquid lipsticks are $20 each, and I know they're available in Sephora. And this is not a full size. This was a holiday uh size one that I got maybe two years ago. I think it was maybe two Christmases ago, okay? And this was probably my favorite one throughout the whole entire set, okay? This one is called Exorcism, okay? And it is a beautiful, beautiful, like, I would say, you know, very like a Ras not raspberry, good God. I would say just like maybe a blackberry, like a light blackberry. Mm -hmm. This, oh, a grape, a dark, rich grape. I just think it's just so freaking pretty. I love Kat Von D's liquid lipsticks. Very light on the lips. And if you're anything like me with dry skin and dry everything, it took me a while to get into the liquid lipstick bandwagon, okay? So I had to X out a lot of different things when I tried them on my lips because I just did not like dry lips. I, A lot of times now I don't, but I endure it in the fall season because it's just so festive and I love that, okay? But Kat Von D, if you have not tried her, Believe me, she is just so comfortable on the lips and very lightweight. She's not thick and heavy or anything like that. So Kat Von D, Exorcism, beautiful shit. All right, so now let's go over to my next favorite liquid lipstick, matte liquid lipstick, okay? And those are the ones by Dose of Color. Now, Dose of Color, oh my gosh. I just like, listen, This, these are what, five? I have five shades right here. One is a nude shade, but all the other ones are more of a purple, berry, plum, like family shade range, okay? <laughs> I just I just love Dosa Colors liquid lipsticks, okay? One I have on my lips right now, uh-huh, <laughs> which is Bury Me Too, I don't know. I don't know if you guys saw my 21 Days of Beauty Recommends, um, but uh, Ulta had uh, Dose of Color liquid lipsticks. They have been on sale for $9. And this was the one liquid lipstick I was like, y'all, if y'all don't get any other color and you are a chocolate girl, you are gonna love Bury Me Too, okay? Look at that, look at that. That's what I got on my lips right now. Y'all, when I tell you I get so many compliments off of this shade, and this is one shade that I truly do wear all year round. No lie, no joke. I wear this lipstick, this this color all year round and get so many compliments. So I'm promising you, I'm telling you. Bury me too, okay? Now, for those people that were that are like me like I was maybe like a few years ago and I didn't really embrace color to its fullest 
to its fullest because at one point I would have been scared of this shade. I was a little tentative even when I started wearing this shade, okay? So if you feel like this you know, shade of magenta is maybe just a little bit too pow for you, hold on. We have Bury Me, okay? Now, this one came out originally before Bury Me Too, okay? Of course, Bury Me, Bury Me Too, okay? So this one came out originally and oh, it's still such a pretty freaking shade. It's a little bit lighter, but it's still just a little bit more muted in shade compared to Bury Me Too. That Bury Me Too just pops and pows on your lips. Okay, all right, but Bury Me is just a little bit more subtle, you know, if you want to wear a, a, a lip liner with it, you know, to just make it just, mm, and it just pops right there in the middle, you can most definitely do that, but this was another one that I just love. I wear Bury Me too more than Bury Me because I just absolutely love it, but when I'm like, okay, girl, let's just go down, like, you know, just chill out, like, you know, you ain't got to give them that much pow, you know. I reach for Bury Me. I just think it's such a pretty, pretty shade, okay? This one is described more of a magenta, whereas this one right here is described as, uh, if I'm not mistaken, um, just a plum, okay? So if you want something that's just a little, just a little, just not a lot, a little bit more subdued, Bury Me. I, whew, I love, love this, okay? All right, now I got a couple more. If you, that's still too much of a, you know, up in, I got a couple more, okay? All right, so the next two also from Dose of Color, okay? I have Mood and Plum Queen, okay? Now these two are more so in the plum purple family, but they're more of a muted plum, a muted purple, okay? Um, mood, let's see here, right there. This is Mood, okay? Such a pretty shade. If I'm not mistaken, it is described more as a muted purple, okay? And then we have Plum Queen, okay? I love Plum Queen. I reached so much for Plum Queen this year, like at the, at the top of this year. I wore it so much, it was a little ridiculous. So, that one right down the bottom. That one is Plum Queen, okay? And yes, Plum Queen, I'm sorry, Plum Queen is just a bit more, um, just, just a little bit more of a um than Mood, okay? But Mood is still such a beautiful shade, a beautiful color, you know? And you can see all of these right here, the all in the Plum Berry Purple family. I Listen, I love me a purple, a plum, a berry shade, liquid lipstick. I just, I just love them. I adore them. Okay, so please don't judge me. <laughs> okay, now for new shade, I really and truly, I only have a few. I have one that is a matte liquid lipstick, and the other ones they're more of glosses. Cause when it comes to them, I like to wear those more in glosses than in matte liquid lipsticks. Okay, now I will say this. I don't think these are true news. These are more brown girl approved news for the rich chocolate deeper dark skin tones, okay? Okay, so the first one is by Dose of Color. This is a liquid lipstick. It's called Stone, okay? It has just a little bit of a pink in the undertone, okay? Just a little bit, okay? But I love this liquid lipstick, okay? It looks a little bit more pink, but when you put it on a chocolate brown skin, it's going to come across a little stark. It's going to come across a little, you know? So I like to um, wear this with a brown, of course, lip liner. I will do Chestnut by MAC, or if you need something just a little bit more affordable, I got you. Go with BFF4 by ColourPop. A very nice brown lip liner that is just perfect. 
perfect, perfect on deeper skin tones. And that's also very comfortable and affordable. Can't lose, it, okay? Can't can't go wrong. You just can't go wrong. Okay, and so the next two also are by ColourPop. Okay, so I have Aquarius and I also have Finders Keepers, okay? Now, Finders Keepers is just a little bit more of a nude, a nude shade, but it's a gloss, so it's not that bad, okay? Um, I wear it with, like I said, I wear it with a brown liquid lipstick. Did I say that? No. I wear it with, <laughs> I wear it with a uh, brown lip liner, so it's not that bad. But it does have just a little, just a little bit of um, pink in the undertone, which is not bad at all, okay? So Finders Keepers, Dose of Color, excuse me, ColourPop, my mind is all over the place. ColourPop, Finders Keepers, very affordable, very nice, and very comfortable on the lips because it is a gloss. This is more of a, um, it's not more of a, uh, it's a cream gloss it's not necessarily a sheer gloss so I will say that okay you do get a little bit of pigmentation inside of it okay and the next one is Aquarius okay um, this one was if I'm not mistaken this one was uh, created with Kathleen lights and ColourPop she originally came out with Aquarius um, this was years ago she came out with Aquarius but she came out with a liquid lipstick and then they introduced the satin um, lip and then they of course they came out with the glosses the gloss was my favorite one out of the bunch because i really no shade the color pop i really don't like their um their matte liquid lipsticks so their glosses are, are awesome though absolutely beautiful okay that one has more pink inside of it than um finders keepers and this is absolutely absolutely gorgeous i love love color pops glosses and this also is more in a cream formula than necessarily a sheer formula okay so comfortable on the lips and affordable yeah Okay, so I have two more lippies to show you. Um, these two are more so in the red family category, okay? So if you like a nice, beautiful red in this time of year, okay, you're gonna like these, okay? The first one, unfortunately, is a gloss. So it's not gonna give you that pow, like a lipstick or a liquid lipstick will give you, but it's still an absolutely beautiful, beautiful shade okay this one is by ColourPop yet again affordable my middle name okay it's called flying horses and this one is more of a sheer more of a sheer um finish okay and here it is unlike the other ones the ones i just showed you they have a um a doe foot applicator this one right here has a brush okay so you know it just does okay but it gives you just a little bit of color so if you just want to do something really really quick but you still want to have just that little bit of color on your lips this right here oh my gosh and if I'm not mistaken I got this last fall and I absolutely love it as a matter of fact I got two of them they sent me two they were supposed to send me uh, I believe this is when Shayla's collection came out last year they were supposed to send me neat freak and they sent me two flying horses Okay, but I wasn't mad. They had to send me my neat free because I paid for it. However, I still had the flying horses and oh my, y'all, this, this is just my color. This is just my shade. I hope you guys can see that because I love, 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 love this lip gloss right here. The shade is just enough to give you just a little bit on the lips flying on out the door. I always keep one in my purse. I got two, keep one on the vanity, keep one in the purse. Yeah, okay. Okay, so if you don't want one as subdued as flying horses, this one right here, when I tell you, when I tried out their liquid lipsticks for the first time, Lime Crime. Okay, now, before y'all start in on me, I know there was some talk about Lime Crime and some things years 
ago. I think this was even before I really went die hard into makeup, okay? But I just wanted to see what their liquid lipsticks did. And oh my gosh, am I happy that I did, okay? This one right here is called Red Rose. This is more of a raspberry red, okay? And it's absolutely freaking gorgeous. Woo! Look at that. If you want more of a blue base red, you probably won't like this. But this is just something that's just a little bit different from, you know, um, the Too Faced Melted Ruby, the Ruby Woo. You know, this, this is just a nice, beautiful pop you know, on your lips, and it's just like, just, you will, people will be turning to look at you with this lip, like, you, if you bold enough to wear red, I had to, I had to slowly ease on into that, hesitant about color, but I slowly ease on into it, and oh my gosh, am I ever happy that I did, this liquid lipstick is just absolutely gorgeous, just and I have one more. I am reluctant to show you guys this. I'm so reluctant to show you guys this last one because it's no longer available, but it's my favorite one. It's in the red family and it's just absolutely gorgeous. If you have this, leave it down below. If you contemplated buying it, leave it down below. But I just, and it's been going for years now. But just to show you where my brain is, okay? Mac came out with the Vamplify collection like two years ago. And this was the color Peer Pressure. When I tell you guys, I wore this down to the ground. Y'all. Look at that. Now that's just, I, I can't even call that a blue base red. That's just I, it's just red. It's just red. It's just absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> I love it. This will show you where my mind is. I've been chasing down this color. Been chasing down this color to find something similar to it. Um, if you like uh, the Too Faced Melted uh, Liquid Lipsticks, but I think they have one in... If they was to put the... Uh, Ruby, the Melted Ruby in a um, more of a gloss. I think they have a latex formula. If they were to put it inside that, I think that would be close to this. It would be very close to this. But the regular just melted, um, the melted uh, Ruby, that red, I think it just dries down just a little bit. So it it's somewhere between a lipstick and a and a matte finish. So it is it's interesting, but I digress. But anyway, but that's that's the color right there. And I just I just had to show y'all what my mindset was. What my mindset was. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you have stayed this long, I do have a small, just a small giveaway, okay? I am going to be giving away two Dose of Color Liquid Lipsticks, okay? I'm going to be giving away a Plum Queen and a Bury Me too, okay if you guys are interested in getting winning these both of these not just one both of these liquid lipsticks please let me know down below and if you if so also please reach out to me on Instagram okay reach out to me on Instagram and let me know my Instagram name is embracing my melanin pretty simple okay <laughs> and if you're interested in winning these two liquid lipsticks if you're interested in it please just drop me a line and I will probably uh, keep this giveaway open probably for the next two three weeks I will most definitely let you guys know down in the description box what you need to do reach out to me on Instagram it's best if you reach out to me on Instagram because I do check my DMs there it's not like I get that many but I digress. Anyway, but thank you guys so much for watching, okay? And thank you guys for making my first year here on YouTube amazing. Everybody's been so sweet and nice and 
I feel very blessed to have people watching me. That's, that's amazing to me. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.